Hi everyone, welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. In this episode, two titans are going to bash each other, are going to confront each other, and maybe we're going to have a winner. Or maybe not. Who knows? Are you ready? Dana Fripp's Terminator Plus against the Holo Audio May Kitsune Edition. Go! Okay, everyone. Yes, the Terminator Plus has been out now for a while, as well as the May, the Hollow May audio, the Kitsune Edition, the level three. Uh, and there are lots of videos out there, obviously. Uh, I made a review of the Hollow Audio, a dedicated video, actually one of the first, uh, almost two years ago, a year and a half. Here is a link. You're also going to find the link here in the video description. So, when Vinshine Audio contacted me, asking me if I wanted to review one of the Denafrips uh, DAX, digital to analog converters, obviously my mind went immediately to the Terminator Plus. And I said to Alvin, thank you Alvin for, for sending me this unit, for testing it out, for this opportunity. And I immediately said, I think it would be interesting to make a comparison, to make, put one facing the other, obviously because I have, I still have my May, and do a direct comparison. There is something out there, but not, I think, uh, in-depth, even though this is not going to be an in-depth review, absolutely. I'm just going to give some highlights. Again, if you want to know all the details of the Terminator Plus, since this video is mainly dedicated to that, because I already did the mating, take a look at other videos online who go really in-depth in all the features. This is more a confrontation with just the main elements and my final take. Okay, are you ready to start? Let's dive in. So the video is going to be focused on the first part, just a general overview of the main functions of the uh, Denafrips Terminator Plus, the main commands, the external, we could say, aspects. Then we're going to have a little test, a sonic test between the May and the Terminator Plus. And finally, afterwards, I'm going to take an overview. I'm going to discuss a little bit of what happened in my experience during these three weeks, almost three weeks, during which I uh, thoroughly listened and enjoyed the Terminator. Let's start. Okay, guys. So as you can see here, we have the two beasts, which in terms of dimensions, they're actually pretty similar in the end. This is a little more thicker. Uh, I don't know. More or less we're there. Even the depth, the width, all very similar. This, as you can see though, is this beautiful black, while instead this is in this bright and brushed aluminium front plate. Love it. Uh, now I'll try to focus on the Denafrips because as you know, as I said before, this has already been thoroughly reviewed in another video. But I did want it to give you this shot together so you can have a look of both of them together, even though it's very difficult to have a good exposure on these two different, completely different colors. Okay. Okay, I forgot to mention that one of the main difference is the remote control. The May does have it, the Denafre Denafreps does not, okay? Maybe it's not that important. Obviously, it, this volume knobs are not these volume buttons are not real. They do not work with the hollow. In any case, as you know, as I already said, check the video for the full details. So let's take a look now to the different aspects, the different elements that we find in front on the faceplate. Up here, we have the different options that lit up when selected with teeny tiny little holes with a nice little lead behind. I must admit that it's quite diff difficult to read these, especially at night, because the light is very, very, very soft. And as you can imagine, the writing is uh, very small at the same time. So it's very elegant, it's very nice, but it's hard to read, again, especially at night. And on the other side, we have mainly the sampling rates plus the DSD. So let's go in order. We have the coaxial, the AES1 and 2, the optical, 
the i square s a b and c inputs plus the usb so these are the main inputs afterwards we'll talk a little more in depth uh, when we take a look at behind and here very interesting we have the clock out which is something that we do not find in the whole audio plus on the other side we have the uh, nos engagement light which indicates if it's not oversampling which i recommend especially with ladder decks otherwise you can disengage it with the button below and here we have the phase button you can also reverse the change another feature that is not present on the holo audio and that a lot of people do like plus the different frequency responses as you can see at a certain point after 48 you have to do a little bit of math uh, times two times four times eight in order to understand the, the sampling like for sampling rate for example if you have 44 and times two that means it's 88 obviously i don't like that that much because you have to kind of concentrate and understand what is the sampling rate but nevertheless i mean it's an elegant solution and all the way here on the right we have the dsd here below we have the input selection minus and plus in order to navigate here the mute button the power button the button to engage and disengage the oversampling as i said the phase then finally we have the mode button which is used to change a few parameters a few characteristics together with the mute button uh, obviously there are further functions in order for example to use both these digitals the aes uh, outputs inputs at the same time and things like that okay okay guys here's the back uh, before describing the main elements i forgot to say that something that i really like about this baby is that it has here below only three feet very pointed feet just like spikes and a little foot be underneath so it, you can obviously can uh, put the spike on top in three points and three as we know is always better than four so there's great attention on this aspect and i like that a lot okay so Let's start to see here uh, the analog outputs. As you can see, we have two balanced and two single-ended outputs, obviously. Great quality connectors, all uh, gold-plated, obviously. And here we have the main uh, digital inputs. We have the USB. We have three types of I2S, two on RJ45 and one the classic HDMI. Plus, as I mentioned before, we have two A aes ebu inputs which can also be used in dual mode that's something tied more in a professional environment that was invented by dcs uh, several years ago actually to lower jitter mainly but otherwise you can use them independently the optical input a uh, coaxial which is for spdif both of them clearly and here we have two b and c inputs uh, excuse me outputs actually even though it says digital in these are outputs because this is a connection towards for example a cd player they they're doing their own cd player like their avatar cd player which is uh, wasn't currently in production i don't know if they're gonna re-establish that probably they will uh, or for example their gaia their digital to digital uh, clocker which can be used that's the main function of this to use their fantastic clock inside to reclock outer gear because uh, the, one of the main features the main important features in here is that the very high quality oxo crystal oscillator together with the fifo um, buffer reclocker together really create a fantastic very low jitter output and that is why you can use that this this good stuff in here with other external digital uh, gear anything that, that has a possible connection that's why you can use also the gaia very cool very neat and in the end here we have as you can see a multi-voltage uh, ac input very nice okay once again if you want to know a little more of the contender the whole audio may please do refer to that video I put here in the video description, my review. So you can have a better uh, understanding of the different functions. Before touching more in depth the sonic characteristics of the May and the Denifrips, I want you to have your own opinion, okay? To start a little bit to understand. So I recorded, obviously I played through my... Um, 
Audiocom Signature Modified Oppo 105D, Darby Edition, but it's a modified Opium, fantastic. As, as a few of you know, I sent back my Jay's Audio Transport because uh, the Oppo was sufficiently good together with the main. No, no, no need. In any case, if you're interested in seeing a little more in depth about that uh, CD transport, here is a link, and I'm also going to put a link here in the video description. Okay, let's turn back to our test. So we're going to listen to a track, track number two, Sunflower from of Lausanne, coming from one of my reference test discs that I found in Japan in my tour in Japan when I did my tour in Japan. Again, if you're interested, here is a link. A link is also going to be here in the video description. When I found this XRCD by Pantabox, Modern Jazz, this is truly outstanding music, performance, and sonics. Incredible. So, we're going to listen to this. I'm not going to tell you which is which, okay? You're going to hear track one, and then you're going to hear track two. Afterwards, I'll tell you which is which. It's going to go through the DAC, and obviously uh, I sent the uh, conversion, the analog signal, in my Black Lion audio interface, which was, which was then recorded and transformed uh, with no compression whatsoever. I just did the normalization of the perceived loudness at minus 23 dB. So at that point, you have a fair comparison between the two. Uh, obviously, no post-production, nothing. Just a conversion in WAV file, 24 bits, 96 kilohertz of sampling rate. You can find the files also in download here below. Let's start the test.
Okay, so I'm about to reveal which is track one, which is track two, okay? Pause the video if you don't want to know. We're going? Yes. Okay, so track one was the Holo Audio Main. Track two was the Terminator Plus from Denifrips, okay? Now you make your idea. Now I'm going to tell you mine idea and also uh, some comments on the two machines itself. One of my first impressions I want to say is that I love the aesthetics of the Terminator Plus. It's beautiful. It's one single massive solid piece of aluminium, beautifully uh, machined. I really enjoyed the feeling, the touch. I love the tr three little feet that go in their little shoe. Fantastic. Great attention, great quality. Although I cannot read very easily. I love the screen of the whole audio may that's much more easy especially at night especially at a distance i like the fact that uh the holo has a remote control even though i must admit that i don't use it that much it's useful mainly to change uh, channels different inputs but it's not that useful after all since it does not have a volume control neither of them the denifrips has a lot of functions uh, I mean, if you fiddle around and you check the manual with the different with the mode button, uh, you can really change different things like the two AES EBU type of connection. That's something very pro, uh, which can even can uh, can lower the jitter a lot. Even the fact that you can send the clock established by the OXO crystal oscillator and the uh, FIFO buffer reclocker. It's just something very, very useful, if, especially if you're dedicated to digital and you have a lot of stuff, a lot of digital gear. That's going to be very, very helpful, and I like that a lot. That's not present in uh, the, the main. It's funny because these are two Chinese machines, Chinese contenders at the maximum expression, and they're probably, uh, I heard now that Mola Mola is coming in the game, but these are the two best among uh, the, the the different converters out there and they're both ladder type base conversions okay it's not delta sigma i'm not going to go in all of this because i already did and others already did but here and there i am telling you a few a few elements which i think it's correct to communicate before describing a little bit my impressions um, the characteristics of the sound signature i do want to say immediately from the start that the difference are subtle I mean, we're, they're not night and day differences. Uh, I, 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 after I, I did my considerations, I did check a few uh, re reviews, online reviews, and a lot of people did say that the, the, um, the Terminator has its own precise sound signature. I, I don't agree, or at least I think that they're very close, the May and the Denifrips. In any case, that's something I think subjective. Uh, even when we were discussing with Alvin, he said uh, it's probably in the end it boils down to one's own preferences. And I must admit that after this test, we don't have that much difference. I mean, if I should had make, if I should do a blind test, I probably wouldn't be able to recognize them. If not for a few elements that we'll try to understand now. Okay, so uh, as you can imagine, I really went through a different types of sources with the, ter the Terminator. A lot of different kinds of CDs, HD CDs, XR CDs, uh, DVD audios, super audio CDs, high resolution streaming with my Project Streambox S2 Ultra, plus, uh, as you can imagine, also high uh, the sampling rate DST native recordings on my computer and sent uh, through USB on both. Of them because I did comparisons clearly also with the May. So I do have, I think, a good picture of both. I don't want to make this too long. Let's go immediately to the differences. Now, I think that the strong element, the winning part, where really the Terminator 2, the Terminator Plus, sorry, shines is the upper register, treble. 
Now, if you listen to that track, that's why I decided to put that track. If you if you hear if you listen to the symbols now, obviously uh, you should have a reference. Uh, I will probably also put rip the file itself so you can have a direct comparison to what's on the CD. Even though ripping does change a little bit in my opinion, because then there is a, a, a somehow a processing from the computer and what you're using on your end. In any case, I'll put also that so you have a, a further comparison with what it has come out from the May and the Terminator. And I noticed that especially the symbols, the timbre of the symbols are perfectly recreated. You really hear that shimmering, that nice, very fine and detailed sound coming from the player when he hits the, the different hi-hat, the different when he crashes, the, when, when he hits the cymbals. I mean, that was something revealing um, from that point of view. And even when he's just keeping the rhythm with hitting with the his wooden stick, you can hear the materiality of that stick hitting the piece of copper. Fantastic. I really like that. That was very nice. And uh, I must admit that in the May, the recreation of that isn't that precise, that faithful. So that's a big point already with uh, uh, with the Denafrips. What instead I find in the May, on the contrary, it's 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 strange because the May it's on the opposite side, a little more controlled and deep in the lower register in the bass. I think bass is a little, not much. It's a little better in the May, as I said, a little more control, a little more. Deep. My my uh, my loudspeakers were a little more uh, assertive when I when I put the same track with the May. So from that point of view, that's another point. At uh, one point for the May, if we can discuss about points, I'm not I'm not doing that that kind of game. They're two fantastic machines. Okay. What else can I say? Uh, I noticed that I do not like the reproduction of DSD files through the via the USB connection of the Denafrips of the Terminator Plus. Mm, no, I don't know why here the May was really, really better for, for and obviously, for example, the May can do upsampling of DSD. OK, the Terminator cannot do that. Keep that in mind. So I think the architecture dedicated to DSD in the May is a little better. In terms of USB, definitely better than May. When playing back instead a Super Audio CD, hence through the i x connection and not uh, connected to the USB, then at that point the differences would were much less evident. Maybe the May a little better. But not too much. I mean, in a blind, again, in a blind test, I probably wouldn't understand the difference. Instead, using the USB. Oh, yes, definitely. So maybe that can be corrected. Maybe that's just a software problem. It can be corrected with an update to the firmware, things like that. We know how USB uh, connections are. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. In any case, I do want to signal this aspect. So apart from these elements, uh, I would say that I wouldn't underline anything else really jumping out from this comparison. I do want to underline the fact that um, it's incredible how the Denafrips did isolate the power section because I think that's a great plus of the Holo Audio, the main, which has separates. I mean, they're separated. The, 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 the power section, the power supply is, is in a completely different chassis in contrast with the Denafrips, but they encapsulated their own. And I think they did a great job because uh, really the the, 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 the the sonic differences aren't that different. What comes out in differences is probably dedicated, comes out more from the different electronics, not from the power supply. So that's a, a big plus for the Terminator because uh, even though the, the space, the, the mass is more or less similar, they were able to isolate that. And that's that's something cool. Not so easy to do. So if someone comes to me and they're pro you're probably going to ask them, ask me here in the comments. So might as well say it here on camera. Which is your favorite? You have to pick one. Well, clearly, I already have the May in my house, so I'm going to stick with that. As you know, I'm a maniac audiophile, so if I did sense a difference, a noticeable difference, 
then I would have done the uh, the change. Absolutely. No problem. I have no difficulty in doing that. Who knows? Me and my channel knows that I have no problem in defending my gear. I couldn't care less. I can't wait actually to change it. <laughs> so trust me when I say something like this. Uh, the Denafrips is going back. It's going probably to Munich and uh, high end. Fortunately, they're starting to do that again. And that's it. I, I think this is a very, very uh, equal comparison. The two machines are top of the notch of their own type of technology. Congratulations to both, really. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do set, put your comments here below. Check all the links and check the tracks I put in high resolution download here in the video description. And what else can I say? Apart from all this digital stuff, music is born analog. Ciao, Ali! Well guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel, please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.